Hello and welcome to your Commonox instructional DVD. By now you should have had your unit on the bench, ensuring that it is or not is on a sturdy bench uh, with adequate airflow behind the unit uh, and around the unit. By having insufficient airflow around your steriliser, you could introduce problems later on. Uh, so please be ensure when setting your steriliser on the bench, um, you do allow for adequate airflow in and around behind the unit and the front. With your unit, you should have received a few accessories, uh, one of them being uh, the bag with the instruction manual, uh, warranty certificates, and so forth for the steriliser, a power cable, the door handle that we have already put onto this unit, and inside the chamber, of course, your three trays. your drain tubes and filling funnel. There is a levelling process that the steril has to be performed on the steriliser uh, before starting operation of the unit. It is a fiddly process but we will walk you through it now. Once the process has been completed there will be no reason to re-level the unit unless it's moved away from its current location. Okay. So to start the levelling process Remove the accessories from the bag inside the chamber of the unit. Inside your bag of accessories, there should be a, a little bung and a little tube. These are only used during the levelling process and are not required for regular maintenance, uh, regular operation, but are handy to keep around. Uh, in case you do require the unit to be moved to another premises or into uh, another treatment room within your practice. To level the unit, we do need to remove the internal components from the steriliser first. To do this, obviously, the trays are removed. There is a 3mm Allen key, Allen key supplied by Commonox to help fit the door handle. Please keep this tool close around the steriliser. This is used to remove the screw at the front of the chamber as part of your regular maintenance for the steriliser. So in the front of the steriliser is located a small uh, nut or screw. By placing your Allen key into that screw and turning it in an anti-clockwise position, you will be able to remove the screw from the actual chamber. There's also a little silicon dam located in the front. Just be careful that that doesn't fall off onto the floor. The rack support and the coil covering grid will then simply slide out of the chamber. For the actual levelling process, take the little black bung supply and place it in the bottom of the funnel. This turns the funnel into a cup so we can measure the correct water quality, uh, quantity to go into the steriliser to set the level. This is placed in the filler spout of the steriliser like so. Locating, located at the back of the chamber, in between the element, is the drain filter. It simply pulls out of the chamber, it does not twist, it pulls out, pushes in. You will have to remove this to level the unit correctly. Once that's removed, you insert the piece of clear silicon tubing into its position in the back of the chamber. Ideally, what you're doing is blocking off the drain hole, so when we do place water inside the chamber, the water is not able to escape. Okay, so we have a drain tube in, uh, a tube blocking off the chamber. We have our funnel set in the spout with distilled water. It's probably important to mention now, we do always recommend distilled water rather than demineralised. Uh, over the life of your steriliser, you will get optimal performance out of distilled water. Measure 80 mils. It's 
probably a good time to mention as well, the funnel has measuring markers on it. For some reason, unbeknown to myself, it does skip the 80 mark. It goes straight from 70 to 90. Of course, common sense prevails. Just measure in between the 70 and 90 mark to get the 80 uh, to have the correct water quality to go into the steriliser. Once we have measured correctly, this water is then tipped in the back of the chamber, not down the drain tube that we have inserted to block off the drain hole, of course, but just to the side so it will come to rest at the back of the chamber. Located at the front of the chamber here is a, is a hook. This may be black or white. That hook is the actual level mark for the water we've just poured in. If your unit is leveled correctly, the water should flow down your chamber and come to stop at the base of the hook located at the front. It should not come past, it should, come, it should stop right level with the actual base of the probe itself. So, in this instance, the water has not uh, moved past the element. We need to lower the front of the unit down until the water touches the base of that hook, as I said. If by chance your water came past the hook and started to rush out the front of your door, please uh, dry up any excess water in the chamber. You will have to lift the front legs a little bit. We'll go through that in a second. Um, so the water does sit at the back and then we can adjust the front legs back down as we need to to get the, the level correct. Okay? It's a 13 mil spanner. You're required to level the unit correctly. And you level it just by undoing the nuts here at the front on the bottom at the top of the legs. They undo in a clockwise position or clockwise rotation. Okay, so you then screw the feet out or in, depending on how you need to adjust the steriliser. So in this instance, we need the steriliser to come forwards. We actually need to wind the feet in for the unit. We do this obviously by just lifting it gently in the front and screwing feet in as well in a clockwise position. Okay, so when the legs have been adjusted, depending on your bench, your water should sit at the probe, at the, at the front of the hook, like it is now. Okay, you're not actually levelling the unit itself, you're levelling the unit for the bench top that you've got sitting on. The two have to be one entity, okay? Uh, it's not a matter of a, a spirit level. As I say, it is important to make sure the water does touch the probe correctly. Once you ask, this may be a process you may have to repeat several times to get it accurately, but it is important to get it right. Once you are satisfied with what level of the unit, you simply tighten the lock nuts back up on the front feet. Okay, so that's your unit level. As I said a little earlier, you can now remove your drain, your bung from the funnel and your little drain tube from the drain hole. These will no longer be required unless you do move the machine, but are handy to keep around in case you ever do require them. Okay, so your unit's now level.